Hello everybody and welcome back to Wins Classic. It's just a quick update that all the tyres are all done as you know from yesterday. Um, all the air is spot on on the tyre pressures, all spot on so it hasn't leaked or anything like that so they're all fine. Check the other side. As you can see, all fine. So, there's been no leaks or anything like that. amazing just some new tires a lick of paint on those wheels and the car don't look too bad right, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put the hubcaps on I might even give them a polish up because I don't even know what the hubcaps are like now I can't remember they were in the boot of the car so I took them off when I basically bought the car so I'm gonna have a look see what they're like and uh, get them on the car right Garage it hasn't been on the road since two last time I could gather from what I can gather from the MOT status. 2013 was the last time this car was on the road. And it for as far as I know it's always been garaged. That's probably the reason why this car is a survivor car and that hasn't rotted out everywhere. But it is it does need clean in here and there. Oh, there's a blade up there, look. Rusty old bleed. It needs cleaning out that. Because all this is going to end up being a water trap and then it'll end up rusting everything out. But all up around here is all solid. All on the inner side of the wings, all solid. The front wings I've had off, they're all solid. <clears throat> the skin seals is all fine on the inside of it. You know the outer skins are fine. The inner is all fine, the jacking points are all good. This car is absolutely a stunning little car, really. It is a really good surviving car. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a good surviving car. So, I'm going to crack on, polish these up caps up, get them fitted on, and I think that will uh, bring it back up again and make it, make it look nicer. Hopefully when all this lockdown stuff is all finished, then I can find a down paint place, get some paint. I'm just going to spray the sides of the car, I'm not going to touch the boot, the roof or the bonnet. So there's all these little bits and pieces right there, so I'm just going to leave all that and not worry too much about any of that. Uh, this one's sort of sorting back in. some in there. I don't know how thin down it is because I am. So, to me it doesn't. It's got like, looking at the car you've got a couple of different shades of paint on it. This is the old original. This wing looks like it's lighter, well it is lighter than the rest of it. I know he sprayed the doors, the guy, who I got off of. What a cock up he made of that. <clears throat> the thing that's really annoyed me was the fact is the guy who originally owned the car, Mark, he bought the car uh, to do 
do it for himself. I don't know what the circumstances was, but he ended up selling the car to the guy who I bought off of. Uh, Mark, I keep in touch with Mark. He's a nice chap. Um, he was in the Rover P6 Club and everything. And he'd done a nice article in one of the books and stuff like that. And all about the car and everything. Like what the car means to him. And uh, when we had a chat and everything, he was all, why don't you be happy and pleased that I've got the car and I'm doing something with it. Because the guy who I got it off of, well, he'd done more, more making a mess than anything of doing this car up. And uh, the guy who I got it off of, I think to be honest the truth, I reckon you would be shaping yourself, to be honest with you. Well, I ain't gonna name your name, but I know you're a member of the Raver PC club still. Um, I reckon you would be ashamed of yourself because you bought the car off the mark at a low price. And then when I bought the car, I paid two pounds for this car off you. And the way you could treat your wife to a nice holiday. And I reckon you'll be ashamed of yourself. You told me this car was basically a lot of work had been done on it. And every bit of work you've done on it, I've had to go through it all. Right, well that's my great moment for the moment, on, on you anyway. But um, at the moment I transformed this car and I brought it back up into a good, usable car again. So enough next again. A bit moody with him now. Right, I'm gonna go get some uh, polish chemicals. Polish up. Uh, caps all polished up and um, we'll get them fit on. Alright, so I'll come back in a short time. Bye for now. Hello everybody. Welcome If you can hear me actually because it's quite a windy day actually out here at the but That's one. And that's what they did look like. Skinned up around there, really, and the uh, black being touched back in. But I'll put them on for now. I'll leave all that because that'll be a, maybe another day. I'll, I might do that. So we don't know how long this lockdown is going to last for, so maybe that'll be something else to do another day. Because, like I said, I can't really do anything on the bodywork at the moment because I can't get to the shops to get the materials I need. So it's just a quick, make it look a bit cleaner. Maybe now I've got new tires on there and all the wheels done. I'll take it for a ride. Small ride. Just a long, long time. running to charge up the battery. coming along. The main thing is now we've got the tyres done. So we'll put more, a bit more petrol in and um, maybe I can just take it for a, a small ride just to take the missus down to the shops and something to get a bit shopping. So I can do a couple of small journeys in it now. Now we've got new tyres on there. Um, I'll check the spare. It doesn't have to be perfect. The spare. As long as it's got air in it, it's only to get you open for it. So I'll check all that. Maybe the next video we do will be a quick little drive out. Just a quick update, a little drive out, see, see what we think. See how she performs. Um, but uh, yeah, it's coming on, it's coming on. And then 
I'm, I'm, I'm glad now I didn't bother getting rid of it. Mate. I really am glad I kept it. There, well, at the end of the day, it's their loss. It's still my game, isn't it, really? Because I mean, I put a lot of time and effort into this car, and if I had got rid of it for peanut money, um, you probably would have got a lot of people boasting and pretending they'd done all the work on it, like the engine bay and stuff like that. Because many a times I've sold a car and they've, they've took all the credit and I didn't get a mention or anything like that. Um, but, um, yeah, we're going to get the rest of these ups up, get them on the car, and then we'll come back to you in a short while, see what you think, and hopefully you'll all enjoy it. Ta -ta for now. Hello everybody, welcome back. Right, all the hubs are on, nice and polished. Just a quick polishing run, make them look a bit more presentable. Let's set the badge back on the wheel, we'll see how long that stays on for. Um, let's show you around the other side. I'm actually going to take her for a little quick spin around the block. I'm going to put a little bit more petrol on. Take her quickly around the block. Just to try, 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 out, try out the new tyres. What do you reckon? Yeah, you agree, don't you? Yeah. But all this type of stuff, I'm not going to worry about any of this. All I'm going to do is just give the bonnet and the roof and the boot a polish. Mop it back. All I'm worried about is just spraying the sides for it. Not Ed, and I'm going to call him a knob Ed. Naft it up. I mean, if you're going to put filler in a wing, for Christ's sake, rub it down. No. Rub it down properly. Why make it look a shambles? Lucky enough, I've got another wing to go on, but I might be able to save that wing anyway. There ain't much wrong with it. I'll probably end up flipping saving that wing actually. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna give it a whiz around the block. I'm gonna put some more petrol in. Just give it a quick little whiz around the block. I can get that petrol. You carry on filming. Oh. I'm have a little look see inside it.
going to give it a quick little whiz around the block. See how she wants. It's been a while. Sounds alright, she feels all okay actually. She doesn't steering's quite light when you're actually driving it. It's just when it comes to parking it, it's like anything. Unless you've got power steering, but this one with the bus steering wheel, it does make it a lot more easier. Um, yeah, I reckon it's I can spot on. Now we can go out for le regular little runs in it. What do you reckon, Trubs? Spot on. Spot on. Yeah, because it's getting cooking in your tail. Oh, that breeze is warm in there without sun and shine on This is what she could do with it being regaraged again, really, or finding a proper decent car cover. Every time I put a car cover in, all the cats seem to claw it to, to pieces. 
And that's another thing that's all right, that piece there. There's many clips in there. I have got some, I've got to find them. But yeah, all I can say is a big thank you to everybody who subscribed at the moment. The channel's doing well. The comments are absolutely wonderful. The amount of people have commented is brilliant. I can't thank you all enough, really. Um, there's one person who always comments though, isn't there? Comments so much. I can't remember his name. Is it Mark? Mark C. Littler. He always comments. So a big thank you to you. You're always commenting. Um, so there you go. She's, uh, I said she's got her tires on. Looking a lot better than that. Um, I'm giving it a little run around the block to get the rust off the brakes. And she stops it fine. All okay. She's going in the gears okay. Kick down's all working. I don't want to throttle it too much and give it too much beans because the bottom end is still brand new. It's still got to be running and I don't want to wear the shells out, not yet. Um, but apart from that, it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it again now. Falling back in love with it again. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm chit-chatting and rabbiting on. Let's see what the next jobs they can do. Well, the next job I can do is I've got to take the speedo out because I've noticed on the MOT history the mileage is staying the same. So the speedo is actually working. I've not trash taken it, but it's not picking up any mileage. At least I don't think so now. Um, it's still the same. Um, Try and get that speedo out, try and see if, suss out why the mileage isn't clocking up. And like I said, it's just the bodywork, but I don't know when the next video is going to be. I mean, it might be just be little, little short videos, just little clips, me rabbiting on like I do. I'm just sorry if I rabbit on so much. But around a block and there was a few people staring at me. I, I got a funny feeling even some woman for some reason. I, mean, I saw, went past her the first time, the second time she was on the phone, so went home. She was calling the police to say, look, there's a madman going around the block in the car. But they were all funny for us right here. Anyway, big thank you for subscribing. Um, I can't thank you enough. Uh, let's just see. Got anything to add? No. no, we've got nothing to add. Just a big thanks to everyone. Big thanks to everyone. Yeah. What were your little comments as well? What people have given to you yeah. for the race? Because you're a winner. Because you won everybody yeah. on that tyre challenge. We were going to do a motorbike challenge as well, wasn't it? So you could kick a motorbike over the quickest and get it to start. Yeah, time went on. Yeah, time went on. Because this really did take some time to put these tyres on in the end. Wait for the paint to dry and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so you got nothing to add then? Yeah, just a big thanks to everyone. Big thanks to everyone. Right. Uh, that goes for me too. Big thanks to everybody. Because uh, we need this car done, we got to get it done. Uh, we need it for a wedding. Because so. we're getting remarried again. So we need this car done. Yeah. So, like I said, we're just doing the tight ones today.
big thank you to everybody out there for all your support and all your comments. Can't thank you enough. So all the best. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Stay safe. Stay safe, yeah.